What's up guys, my name is Ajax and in today's video we're going to be going over my plate carrier setup. So my plate carrier is a Cry JPC 2.0. Uh, it's an extra large in black obviously. I got a big old American flag patch up here from uh, T-Rex Arms with a mic loop. It's actually called mic loop. It's a little Velcro thing that goes under a patch or it could just go on the Velcro itself. You don't need a patch over it. And what that does is it goes around your uh, mic and retains it so it doesn't go anywhere. Uh, coming down here, uh, I have a Benchmade Dagger, Sock P. Very, very nice knife, really like it. Um, just stays tucked away, it doesn't impede any type of reload or get in the way whatsoever. It has no issues coming out, it's it's perfectly fine. Uh, just kind of like a last ditch, it's all you got, you need it fast. Um, I have a Blue Force Gear 10 speed triple mag pouch with three Magpul M3 windowed P mags. Load up with 28 rounds of just normal 5.56, nothing crazy. Here's what I like about the Blue Force Gear 10 speed pouches. When you take the mag out, the pouch goes kind of flat and you can put all different types of stuff in them. Um, like you can put a flashlight in it and it will retain it decently. Uh, you can put all types of stuff, multi-tools, pepper spray flashlights, radios, whatever you want. Uh, to the right of that, I have a TRX Arms tourniquet holder holding a North American Rescue Cat Gen 7 tourniquet. This is on my right side. Uh, up front, I have a one tiers radio pouch holder. Well, it's not for radios, for mag, but I'm using it for a radio and it's working just fine so far. And it's a Motorola. I don't know the model. Pretty decent though, but I'm definitely going to be upgrading to a Baofeng. And it comes up to a communication um, mic. Yeah, I don't know. You'll see that I have the bungee kind of just sitting back here, and that's because I do plan to upgrade to a bow thing in the future. So uh, whenever I do that, I'll zip tie it to the back. Um, but yeah, it's not really doing that. I have the normal cry precision, like little shoulder pad thingies that come with it, and that's holding the cord under it. And then I added the cry precision modular trap armor. This is level 3A armor. Technically, this can stop handgun rounds, and the reason I got, I don't I don't know if I trust that, but the reason I got it is because I needed more cushion because without it, <laughs> the plate carrier is extremely uncomfortable on my shoulders. And I added these today. I got them in today, and I added them. And so far, they're amazing. It it really does take the load off your shoulders. It's really weird, and you get a level of protection. So it's really nice. These are in size medium. They offer a size large. I almost bought the large because large plate carrier, but I don't really know where else the large would go. I mean, it's just this kind of takes up all the room. So medium is where it's at. Um, so on the side, you can see that I have a Cry Precision JPC side plate pouch. Uh, this is holding a 6x6 six six, six six HESCO L110 side plate. Um, and it's just mollied in there. This right here is my quick release strap. So if I pull that, the whole plate, plate carrier kind of comes apart so I can get out the right side and the left side has one so I can get out the left side. Now, if we turn it to the left side, you will see that I have the same side plate set up and my quick release is under the radio. Uh, the plates in the plate carrier are HESCO L210 plates with a T-Rex Arms backer, so it's a little bit more comfortable. Also on the side is a SHGI uh, blowout kit pouch, does North American Rescue trauma shears. I wrapped adhesive Velcro around this strap and then put on one of these uh, medical cross patches I had laying around just as an identifier. Works fine, it's not going anywhere. I'm actually surprised it worked. Uh, if I open this up, there's this little pull tab and if I pull that, all the medical contents that I have in there will come out. There's quick clot, nitrile gloves, uh, two hyphen chest seals, hemostatic gauze, CPR mask. Um, the only thing that's not in there is a Sharpie, which I could put on the side. But uh, in the medical contents are from TRX Arms, their EDC kit. And then on the side, I have a Blue Force Gear tourniquet now strap holding another North American Rescue Cat Gen 7 tourniquet. That is everything on my plate carrier. Um, in the future, like I said, I'll probably add a bow thing and that will come with a whole new comm setup and pouch and then the wires will actually get zip tied on the back and of course there is a drag handle so yeah very comfortable plate carrier extra large works very well for me uh, the shoulder plaids in my opinion are a must they're amazing and yeah
And that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed my Play Curious setup and maybe give you guys some ideas for yours.